city so rich it is so nice you just pour right over your eyes this is original jamaican culture juice On today's episode of the Jamaican cooking journey, I'll be sharing with you yet another simple recipe. We're going to be making today old time, long time Jamaican culture juice. All Jamaicans, most Jamaicans are familiar with it. But let me pause right here to say special thanks to my patrons that have been making my page possible. If you would like to be a part of my patron family, click on the link in the description and show me some love. Post notification shout outs today goes right here. Jamaican culture juice. For this, you're gonna need some carrots. I've got here, this is about almost a pound, it's not fully a pound of carrots. They are not the brightest of colors now because of drought and stuff that is happening. But you can choose carrots of your choice. They have already been peeled and washed and I'm gonna be cutting them up. We're gonna be cutting them up really thin really fine because we are going to be cooking them off so i'm gonna be cutting these you see how thin i'm cutting them yeah they will cook easier and you want them cook soft gonna be cook cutting them off and return all chopped sliced them really fine mm -hmm. and Good to go. Right. We're gonna cook it until it's like soft. Yeah. Just enough water to cover it, and you're gonna put it on a slow burner. Slow burner, so to speak. Should I? I should have said. You're gonna leave it to slow cook, and that is gonna bring you into about 45 minutes or thereabouts. On the other hand, or in the interest of time on the video, I have some that I had done ahead of time for you. So we're going to be starting to get some or most of it into our blender with the same water that we did cook it with. And we are going to start to bring it to a soft, more like a puree, something on the puree end. So going to get all of it. It smells so good. Uh, I tell you, this thing smells, this cooked carrot smells like it was something that has been baked. So, you see, me got it right in right there. And I'm going to be doing like a sort of puree right now. So, we got our carrot here. In addition to that, I'm going to use some condensed milk for sweetener. Also, I'm going to use some evaporated milk to, you know, when it will puree to lengthen it out or to, to thin it out. I'm going to be using some guineas, a little vanilla. I'm going to be using a pinch of fresh nutmeg and salt. Okay? And I have here a little Jamaican white overproof rum to give it up a bit. So let me go right here now onto my blender. And I'm going to be pureeing it. It's soft, it's cooked, and so I'm going to just put it on the puree mode. So this is how it will look or it should look. You see that? So thick. So I'm going to be using my evaporated milk to get it out a little bit thinner and I pour one tin in there. I'm gonna be putting it back into the blender and I'm gonna be putting it on my mix mode. mixed in so I'm gonna pour some now in my juice jug I'm gonna leave space for some of my guineas and I'm also gonna be putting in my sweetener which is my condensed milk I'm 
I'm gonna put in about this is a, like less than half and we are full so you see at the top so we are gonna mix until all everything is because the guinea is gonna turn it a little different color so we are gonna mix until everything is dissolved you see that you want the guineas to go down adding right now our little freshly grated nutmeg and our pinch of salt also our little gig of Jamaican white rum and also maybe like a cork full just a tot don't mind my bottle I'm pouring it, pouring it out here I always wash my stuff when I get them from the grocery I don't use my things unless I do that and for that amount that's fine for me so I'm gonna go now mix it mix get it all um, dissolved mixed in and then I'll return to pour you some I'll mix now a froth at the top has subsided somewhat it is rich and thick you know my thing I never normally serve with ice but for this it is so rich it is so nice you just pour right over your eyes this is original Jamaican culture juice please do enjoy here you have it right here in your little jar please do enjoy thanks for loving thanks for supporting try to see if you can get this done if you're a Jamaican and you know about it when last did you make something like this you can put it, you can use it with whatever you want. You can put where you want. But look here, some people put supplement general cuttings. Do what you want to do. But back then, originally, these were the stuff they used. Thanks for watching.